Today we took our dog Brady on an amazing adventure to climb Eagle Mountain, a 1,759 foot peak in the Wichita Mountains National Wildlife Refuge in southwestern Oklahoma. Today's adventure begins at the boulder cabin area of the wildlife refuge, and if you've done the Narrows Trail, you might recognize it because it's the same trailhead. And before I introduce Brady, I would like to say that Eagle Mountain was by far the hardest trail we've done on this channel. So Brady is our three-year-old dog that we rescued from the animal shelter in January of 2022, and while he was the perfect dog to take on this trip because he's been hiking with us on this type of terrain, basically since we got him. I would not recommend doing this with many other dogs. On Brady's back, you can see his Kurgo Baxter dog backpack, which he uses to carry his treats, food, and collapsible water bowl during our hikes. And of course, before we could take him on any difficult trails carrying this extra weight, we took him for relatively flat but long walks so that he could adjust to it. And clearly, as you just saw him sprinting through the tall grasses on the side of the mountains, this training worked. We packed about two liters of water for Brady for this hike. It couldn't hurt to have more, but that was plenty for him. And ladies and gentlemen, you're about to see why I would not recommend this trail for dogs. The main things I can take away from this trail is that it has plenty of rocky terrain that is super fun to navigate but can be difficult with a dog. Brady had some issues navigating it, but in the end he made it. The other thing is that the All Trails Trail goes the wrong direction. When you get to the trail, you're going to want to see the red arrows on the rocks. They're very few and far between, but try to follow them as best as you can because that is the actual trail. So that's where we just were. Once you like get up here, step on this, it's pretty easy to just climb over these rocks and get up there. Peak is over there. Go up that, and there it is. What you need to do once you get to here is go around that way. And it's easier to get up from here. I sort of made it, so I don't think that that is a high point. I think that this is actually higher than that. And I'm not gonna climb up on that rock right now for obvious reasons, but this is the peak. So in hindsight, I think that it was a good decision to keep him back at the bottom based on how we were feeling that day. However, I still think that Brady probably could have made it to the peak if we really tried. So this video does not well portray the difficulty of moving on the rocks with a dog or the difficulty navigating the trail. So what I want to say is that if you're going to bring a dog on this trail, I highly recommend that you make sure you know how good your dog is at navigating rocky terrain and that you are very experienced and able to navigate the trail and trails like this really do use a lot of your energy and we were starting to get hungry so we headed into medicine park and ate at the riverside cafe Ray. he's sniffing my catfish Ray. then we got some cowboy corn nuggets the riverside cafe was a very dog friendly and awesome place as soon as you pull up, you see a sign that says that the restaurant is dog friendly on their outdoor patio. The staff was really nice and absolutely loved Brady, and the food was very good. If you are hiking in the Wichita Mountains and you have a dog and you're looking to get some food after, I highly recommend the Riverside Cafe. And if you're looking for more places to take your dog to eat around the state, we'll be putting that video out in the not too distant future.